every morning when you wake up. How we know that you are the same person as you have been yesterday? Before bed. The only answer is your memory. Without memory we would lost self-identity and humanity also. Memory is human brain's capability to encoding, storing, and retrieving information. Memory can be short-term or long-term. Short-term memory looks like operational memory or working memory, which we need for everyday operations. For example, if you can remember someone's phone number for a short period of time, it is short-term memory. Average human can remember four to five things at once for short-term. For example, order of four to five numbers. Long-term memory looks like hard drive. You can save information and use it when you need. Long-term memories can be kept for years, sometimes whole life. Long-term memory can be explicit and implicit. Explicit memory is when you consciously know something you experienced or learned. Implicit memory is if you acquired something and use it unconsciously. It unconsciously affect thoughts and behaviors. For example, if you remember your wedding day or you learn poem by heart, it is explicit memory. But if you know how to drive car or how to swim, it is implicit memory. Sensory memory is the first step to create any kind of memory. Sensory memory holds information for very short period of time, which is derived from the senses. For example, iconic memory is store of visual information. Echoic memory is a fast decaying store of auditory information. Haptic memory is a type of sensory memory that represents a database for touch stimuli. Maybe you think that we are special because we have memory, but every living organism has memory. Even primitive one-cell organisms have memory. Classical conditioning is a basic form of memory storage and is observable on a molecular level within simple organisms. DNA itself is a form of memory. Moreover, even our universe has its own memory in broad definition because it storages lots of information about itself. But we are only known living organisms who ask questions and trying to find answers and maybe that's make us special.